JavaScript Image Editing Tutorial Drawing and Painting on JPEG and PNG Images Grape City Documents Image Viewer now provides the paint and text tools to edit images and give them a new look and feel. Let's just quickly observe what icons represent these tools in the viewer. Beginning with the paint tools, the tools are showcased with a brush icon in the primary toolbar which opens a secondary toolbar with various paint options when clicked upon. These options include a pencil tool, brush tool, clone stamp tool, and an eraser serving the basic operations like other image editors. These tools are supported by the size and color options to define the width and color of the stroke. Another option is Use Original Image, which when checked, applies edits to the original image followed by the common Undo, Redo, Apply, and Discard options. For text tools, we have a text icon in the primary toolbar that opens the secondary toolbar with text-related options when clicked. These options include the text tool selected by default to add a text field to the image. It is followed by a drop-down to choose the font size and another one to choose the font family. It even provides other options for font styling, like bold, italic, or text color. In the end, we have the common Undo, Redo, Apply, and Discard options. This video will guide you on how to configure an application to render the GC Image Viewer with paint and text tools, along with basic examples showcasing the use of these tools. So let's begin to create an application to edit images using the Paint and Text tool. We will begin by creating a new ASP.NET Core Web application in Visual Studio 2022, targeting the .NET 6 framework, and give an appropriate name to the project. Let's call it Paint and Draw. Let's install the GC Image Viewer NuGet package to work with the client-side API and plugins to provide the editing tools. Open the NuGet Package Manager console by choosing the Tools option from the toolbar. Switch to the lib folder found in the Project folder by executing the cd command, passing in the correct path to the folder. Install the GC Image Viewer package using the npm install command. you can observe that GC Image Viewer got installed in the Grape City folder. We will add the JavaScript-based GC Image Viewer control to the project's index.cshtml page found under the Pages folder. Next, we will add a reference to the required JavaScript file at the top of the index.html page for GC Image Viewer followed by adding code to configure GC Image Viewer control on the client side. We begin by adding a div element, which would be rendered as GC Image Viewer. We then define a script block to initialize an instance of the GC Image Viewer class by passing in the div ID as a parameter. Invoke the open method of the GC Image Viewer class to load an image file into the viewer on loading the web page. Also, we set the zoom settings for the viewer and image through code to get a proper view of the image being loaded into the viewer. We will assume that the image file being loaded in the viewer is already placed into the www root folder of the project folder so that it can be accessed via JavaScript code. Save, clean, and rebuild the solution. Then execute the application to see how the image viewer works with a loaded image in your default browser. Both Paint and Text tools are available as plugins, meaning the user can add or remove them from the viewer at their convenience and need. The Paint Tools plugin provides both tools, so all we need to do is add this plugin to GC Image Viewer and we are ready to use the tools. To add the plugin, 
we will first add the respective plugin JavaScript file found under the Plugins folder in the Installed GC Image Viewer folder to the index.cshtml page. Later, the Add Plugin method of the GC Image Viewer class is used to add a reference of this plugin to the viewer, which appends both tools to the GC Image Viewer's toolbar. You can execute the application to view the GC Image Viewer loaded with Paint and Text Tools options. Now that we have the tools in place, let's edit an image using the Paint Tools. In the image, you can observe the fireflies. We will see how we can add more of these to the image to make the scene more attractive. There are two ways this can be done. First, we will use the brush tool. To do so, choose the brush tool by clicking the brush icon. We will then set the size and hardness of this brush using the size dropdown. The size can be as big or small as you want, but we need to set the hardness to a lower level to have a blurry effect. Finally, choose the lightest tone of the color yellow for the stroke color. We draw the firefly on the image once all the options have been set. You can observe for yourself how close it looks to the original ones. Now, if you want it to be the same color, size, and hardness, then you can use the Clone Stamp tool, which clones the chosen part of the image and lets you paste it somewhere else in the image. To use it, click on the Clone Stamp tool in the secondary toolbar. Choose the cloning area size from the size dropdown and click over the region you want to clone. As prompted on a click, you would need to hold the Alt key and click to choose the cloning area, which is highlighted by a circular dotted border. As soon as you do so, the cloned region is selected as prompted by the border, which in this case is a firefly. Later, clicking somewhere else in the image will drop or paste the cloned region there. As you can observe, a small size firefly gets pasted. We will also increase the size and copy a bigger firefly next. Lastly, we will quickly observe the use of the eraser tool, which when selected by default, only erases the edits made by the user. However, when you enable the Use Original Image option, you can observe how it erases the actual parts of the image when being dragged on the image. You can even alter the size of the eraser using the size dropdown and erase very specific parts of the image. All these changes can be applied or discarded and even undone or redone using the remaining options in the secondary toolbar. Next, we will learn how to work with text tools. For example, we will caption this picture by adding text to the picture using text tools. To begin, we will click the text icon in the toolbar to open the secondary toolbar with all the options. In the secondary toolbar, you can observe that the text tool is selected by default, meaning if we directly click on the image, it will add a text field to the image. But here, we first choose a font size and a font family using the respective dropdowns. Also, a font color to match the color scheme of the picture. Once all the settings are in place, we click on the image to add the text field and start typing in the text, happiness. Once done, we apply the bold font style to the text. As observed further, you can move and place the text anywhere on the image. All these changes can be applied or discarded and even undone or redone using the remaining options in the secondary toolbar. Here, we click the Apply button to apply and save all the changes to the image. So that completes how to add and use paint and text tools in GC Image Viewer.